In this video, we're going to take you through a beginner's guide to Coinbase Advanced, the more advanced trading tool from the well-known cryptocurrency platform Coinbase.com. We'll take you through a full beginner's guide, showing you how to deposit crypto or fiat onto Coinbase, how to trade with market, limit and stop orders, and then how to withdraw your assets from the platform. And there'll be a timeline in the summary below for those looking to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. And just remember that your capital may lose all its value. Crypto is not regulated in the UK and it's subject to CGT. For more information on Coinbase, please check out everbethelps.io. First up, a little bit about Coinbase Advanced. Coinbase has long been known as a safe pair of hands for those just getting started and buying their first crypto. But advanced traders may be looking for more sophisticated tools and the ability to use advanced order types. This is where Coinbase Advanced steps in. And Coinbase Advanced just got an upgrade. Now operating as a standalone platform, which you can access all from within your standard Coinbase account. With Coinbase Advanced, you have access to deep liquidity markets. You'll also get helpful charts and tools to understand prices better, and you can set specific limit and stop limit orders. And one of the best parts is the fact that you can save money. With Coinbase Advanced, you've got lower fees, starting at just 0.4%. And it's super easy to manage your money. You can put money in or take money out anytime you want, and it won't cost you anything. So now let's have a look at how Coinbase Advanced works. The first place you'll need to head across to is coinbase.com slash advanced hyphen trade. And I'll have a safe link in the summary that you can use for that. And there's a few different ways that you can access Coinbase Advanced. If you're already logged in to coinbase.com, you don't need to log in again with separate credentials. Simply head across to your profile icon in the top right hand of the screen. And here you can see where you can switch from Coinbase, the simple way to buy crypto, to Advanced, which offers professional grade tools for trading. And I've got a coinbase.com beginner's guide if that's something that you want to check out. Now, if we choose advanced, immediately you're going to be taken to the spot screen, and this is where you'll be placing trades and analyzing charts. Under the portfolio tab on the left, you'll see here that I've got an active balance at the top of the screen, and each asset balance individually underneath along with the current price, and these amounts are all feeding in from your Coinbase.com account. Beside each asset, you also have the option to trade, deposit, or withdraw. And you then have your orders for your order management, and that's for open orders and history, which we're going to come back to later. There's API for automating your trading, and more, where you can earn, set up recurring buys, and access Coinbase One and NFTs. But let's head back to the spot screen now so that we can take a look at how to start placing some trades. When we click onto the drop down beside the trading pair in the top left hand of the screen here, we can then check out all the available markets. So in here, you can set up a watch list, which you can filter through. Then you can take a look at different markets, including USDC, GBP, Bitcoin and Ethereum, for example. And this essentially allows you to choose what you're swapping from and to. In this instance, because I'm from the UK, I'm going to select BTC GBP because I'd like to trade my great British pounds for Bitcoin. Once you select the market pair, you'll see that the whole screen changes and reflects the pair that you've selected. And it will show me the last price and how that's changed as a percentage at the top of the screen, the 24 hour volume, high and low prices. There's then a blue button to deposit. And when I click onto that, it gives me the option to deposit either Bitcoin or GBP. And that's because that's the trading pair that I've selected. If I want to deposit Bitcoin, because I've got some Bitcoin and I want to swap this for GBP, and if it's not already in Coinbase, then you can deposit it from here. And it'll provide you with a QR code and an address that you can copy and then send your funds across to. Just note here that you can only send Bitcoin to this address and not another type of crypto. And we'd recommend sending a smaller test amount first if you are feeling a little bit nervous, just before you go ahead and send across all your crypto. As in the world of crypto, transactions are non-retractable. If you want to deposit GBP instead, which I'm going to be doing now, you can transfer via bank transfer using faster payments. 
As you can see, this supports up to three transfers per day with a total of £250,000. Below is where you need to send your money across to. So I just need to head across to my online bank now to enter these details in. But there are just two important parts that you need to do when you do send across your funds. That's that you have to make sure that your name exactly matches what's on the account. Also, you need to include the reference number that's shown up on your screen, as this will help to match together your bank transfer and your Coinbase account. Now, with faster payments, this is usually all done within the same day, and they'll let you know once this is complete. And one thing to mention is that with deposits, it's all with zero fees. So I'm going to go ahead now and send across £100 from my Santander account. And that literally just took a couple of minutes for me. So once your payment has been cleared, you'll be notified by email. And the amount will also show up under your portfolio. And the same would apply if you deposited crypto at this stage instead. Then once you've got some assets or some crypto to trade with, we can then head back to the spot screen. If it's not already selected, choose your trading pair, which again, like I said, for me is going to be BTC GBP, as we're going to be swapping or trading Bitcoin and British pounds. We're then presented with the trading screen, which I know can look a little bit daunting with different charts and numbers flashing up. However, I'm going to take you through the screen now to show you exactly what you're looking at. So at the top of the screen, the prices here we've already talked about. Then underneath, you've got the price charts, which you can track over different periods of time. This is usually defaulted to a candlestick, and that gives you an instant snapshot of whether a market's price movement was positive or negative and to what degree. But you can also change these to the likes of lines or bars. Underneath is a depth chart, and this essentially gives you a visual representation of the buy orders and the sell orders on the order book. And if you're unsure how to use these different types of charts, you can click on the question mark at the top here and it'll bring up a really helpful article that you can take a look at. You've then got your order book on the right here with potential sell orders in red and buy orders in green. And an order book is basically a list of current buy orders, which are also known as bids, and sell orders, which are also known as asks for a specific asset. And this will show you the price that buyers and sellers are willing to pay and also how many units they're looking to buy or sell at each price. On the far right is where you have the section for placing your trades, which we're going to come back to in just a moment. You then have a trade history underneath with orders that have already been filled. And at the very bottom in the centre, you've then got your orders section. So what we're going to do now is actually go ahead and place a trade. We'll start off with buy, and I'll also show you how to sell shortly. So first of all, we need to make sure we're on the green buy tab. And there are three different orders that you can choose from here, which are limit, market and stop limit orders. We're going to start with the most basic type of order, which is market. And this is most like the type of order that you may place on the standard coinbase.com order screen. This is because the Bitcoin or whatever crypto that you've chosen to trade for will be bought and available immediately from your portfolio. With market, you're buying or selling your crypto at the current market price. So you simply enter in the amount that you want to swap, or you can use the slider to select a percentage of your portfolio. In this example, I'm going to buy £50 of Bitcoin. And the estimated fee will also show below, and that's at 30 pence. So you can already see that the fee here is substantially lower compared to what you would usually be paying over on Coinbase.com. Once you choose the green Buy BTC button, it then changes to success. The order will then fill immediately and show under your orders here. And the Bitcoin that you've traded for with your GBP will then be available immediately from your portfolio. And when I click onto Bitcoin, it then takes me to my Bitcoin wallet, where I can choose various options, including at the bottom here, view my transactions. If I click onto the buy transaction that I just placed, it then shows me a breakdown of when it was placed the amount and the price it was executed at. And what you do with your Bitcoin now is completely up to you. You don't have to hold it on Coinbase.com. You could either withdraw that and send that across to the likes of a hardware wallet. You could obviously trade it for another type of crypto, or you could essentially earn some passive income on it. So that was an incredibly easy way to trade with Coinbase Advance. Plus, you can also save yourself some money when it comes to buying Bitcoin in terms of those fees. 
Let's move on to some other order types now. So if you're not in too much of a rush for your order to fill, and maybe you only want to buy Bitcoin when the price reaches a certain value, there are other order types. These are called limit and stop limit. First, we're going to take a look at placing a limit order. So with a limit order, you define the price that you want to pay for your crypto. So when the price falls to a certain amount, you can choose to buy it. Or if it reaches a certain value you're happy with, you could choose to sell it. So the example that I'm going to show you now is on the sell side, but it'll work in the exact same way for buying. So I'm going to sell my Bitcoin and essentially cash out and take some profit. This may not be possible for me right now, as I've literally just bought my Bitcoin at £22,583. But I'll show you now as an example. So I'm going to make sure I'm on the sell tab from the top of the screen. And this time we'll select limit, where we can now define the price that we want to sell our Bitcoin at. So the current market price is around £22,587. But let's say that we want to sell our Bitcoin and take some profit when the price reaches £22,600, so I can make a bit of profit from the price that I bought at earlier. And you can manually type the price into here. Or you could say that you want to sell at the mid price, the ask price, or when it's 1%, 5% or 10% up. Then you state the amount that you'd like to sell. Again, similar to a market order, you can either type this in manually or use the slider to select a percentage of your portfolio. The estimated fee will then show, and this may vary between 0.4 and 0.6%. This is because these fees are based on a maker-taker order, which I'm going to explain very quickly. So a taker of the market pays 0.6%, and this is someone who places an order that's automatically matched on the order book, and you're taking the current market price. Whereas the maker of the market pays less, 0.4%, and is placing an order that is not automatically matched, and essentially this user is making the market. When you're happy, you can then choose to sell BTC. And the difference here now is that your order doesn't automatically place and fill, as you'll see it in open orders under here. Your limit order will only be filled if the exchange can match a seller for the amount that we've stated or higher. Of course, there's no guarantee that the market price will reach that value again, so your order may never be filled. If this is the case, you can cancel your order before it's been filled. And this is also handy if you do make a mistake. To cancel an order, click onto your order at the bottom here, and you can choose to cancel the order. Well, you can then simply try again, which I'm going to do at an amount that is slightly closer to the current market price. Once the order is filled, your GBP balance will then reflect under your portfolio. And I'll quickly explain what a stop limit order is. So a stop limit order is made up of two parts, the stop price and the limit price. And a stop limit order allows you to automatically place a limit order to buy or sell when an asset's price reaches a specified value, and this is known as the stop price. This type of order can help traders protect profits and limit losses. So you could set the stop price to be £23,000 and a limit price at £22,950 and choose the amount that you want to sell. And this will ensure that once the stop price is reached, the limit order, if triggered, will execute at that price or higher. And in a fast moving or a low liquidity market, this can protect you from trading an undesired price. While your portfolio value will drop, selling your BTC via stop limit order may help to reduce further losses if prices were to drop even lower. When you go ahead and place your sell order, you'll receive a message summarising your order. And we can see the order active in the list now. If you want to track any open orders, you can do this from the portfolio screen too. By heading to open orders on the right hand side of the screen, where it'll then show you any open orders at the top and information about each one and its status. And you can choose to cancel all from here. Now back over on the portfolio screen, let's take a look at how to withdraw. And I'm going to show you how to withdraw your crypto first to the likes of a hardware wallet. So if you choose to withdraw beside the crypto that you want to withdraw, and in my case that's going to be Bitcoin, and enter in the amount of crypto that you want to send, or you can choose to send it all. You then simply enter the address where you want to send it to, and this would be your wallet address. So I'm using Ledger as an example now. So I'm going to copy my Bitcoin Ledger receive address from over on Ledger Live. 
then paste that into the two field. And again, it is really important that you only send Bitcoin to a Bitcoin address and not an Ethereum address, for example, as you will risk losing your assets. You can also add a note to this transaction before you go ahead and continue. And here is where you'll get an idea of how long it's going to take for the crypto to reach your account, which is currently set to 30 minutes. And the network fee that you're going to be paying for the transaction to be completed on the network, which as it states here will vary based on network usage, but sending to an email or phone number is always free. When you're happy, you can send now, and your crypto will then send to the wallet that you've chosen. Next, let's take a look at how to withdraw your fiat currency or essentially cash out. So my balance is in GBP. Therefore, if I select British pounds from my portfolio and over on the right, I have the option to cash out. I can then enter the amount that I want to cash out and withdraw or I can cash out all and then choose to continue. As you can see, I've got a few different options available and these will depend on your location. My options are to withdraw to a bank account or PayPal, and both of these are fee free. If you want to add a payment method such as PayPal, choose to add a bank account, then select PayPal, and you'll then be redirected to link your PayPal account. Once linked, you can then withdraw to that method. However, I've already got a bank account set up, which I'm going to withdraw to now. So if I click on it and choose to continue, you'll then see a preview. As it states, the funds are going to arrive instantly and you can choose to cash out now. And my withdrawal was instant into my Santander account within seconds. If I just refresh the screen, here I can view the transaction now too, where it will show me a breakdown of the withdrawal and the status. So as you can see, Coinbase Advance provides you with more sophisticated tools for trading, while also helping to reduce your trading fees. And that's all within the safety of the Coinbase brand. If you want to sign up to Coinbase, Use my link in the summary to get started with Coinbase Advance today. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.